all the glory, honor, and praise. I would just like to wish all the fathers a happy Father's Day on today. My subject for today is entitled, What Does It Mean to Be a Father? What Does It Mean to Be a Father? Well, a father is more than just a male whose sperm unites with an egg and producing an embryo. A male who impregnates of a female results in the birth of a child. Well, the Bible says a father is supposed to be the head of the household and lead his family, his wife, and his kids to God and make sure that Jesus is in the household and is the most important. Well, a father role in the family is an essential one. He is called upon to be a leader, a protector for his family, and to give an example of Christ's love by being loving towards the children's mother. The father is also to be strong in the faith and to bring the children up knowing right from wrong. Well, the Bible says fathers do not provoke the children to anger, but bring them up in discipline and instructions of the Lord. A real father. Well, it comes on down and the Bible comes on down to say that Proverbs 22 and 6 begins to say, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. Can I get a witness? Dads, fathers, it is not the school teacher nor the pastor responsibility to be a teacher for your children. But it is your responsibility to train up your children in the way he or she should go. A dad should schedule family time with his family in order to build a solid foundation and a relationship with his family. What does it really mean to be a father? Fathers, never give up on your children. Never give up on your children. Luke 15, 20 through 24. It begins to talk about the prodigal son whose father gave, never gave up hope and was ready to receive his child back with open arms. With open arms, he never gave up on his son. Father, sometimes you may have to discipline and hold your child accountable for their actions. But never give up on your child. Never speak doom over their life. Never speak negativity. Let your child know that you are always, that they are always loved and support them in no matter what. You see, a real daddy is needed in a child's life. Ephesians 6, 4 says, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but train them up in the discipline and instructions of the Lord. And then Proverbs 1, 8 says, Hear, my son, my father's instructions, and forsake not your mother's teaching. I discovered that there's three major roles that a daddy plays. The daddy must be the protector of the child. The daddy must be the provider of the child. The daddy must also walk into the role of the disciplinarian of his child or children. It is important that the daddy be in the child's life. 
It's important. Let me say that again. It is important that the daddy, the father, the pop be in the child's life. Even if they're not living in the same household. Let me say that again. It is so important that the dad be in the child's life. Even if they are not living in the same household. The daddy carries an important role. And the rearing of his children. And the teaching of his children. A daddy love is so needed. So the children can know that they are safe when they're with their daddy. That their daddy is going to give them instructions and they can go to their daddy at any point. The role of a daddy is so important. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come to you today. We're asking you, God, to look upon the dads, the fathers, the pops. That they may be found grace, that the grace of you might surround them. God, as they are teaching their daughters how to be and feel like a queen. And teaching their son, instructing their sons how to be a godly man that fears you, Lord. And be a protector and a provider, God, for his home. And how to grow up, God, seeking you and acknowledging you in all their ways, Lord, that you begin to direct them because, Lord, their daddy took the time to instruct them, to teach them, Lord, the way of you. And God, we're asking you to continue to rain your blessings upon the fathers on today. And when you do so, Heavenly Father, we'll give your name glory, honor, and praise. Amen.